Hi guys, it's Liliana the Magnificent and welcome back to my main city, Dukes of Honey. In this video, I am going to talk in depth about Guild Expedition or GE. Guild Expedition is a feature that unlocks for guilds that have three or more players within the guild. Now on an individual basis, you do have to unlock Guild Expedition within your research tree. And in order to find it, we are going to go all the way back to Iron Age. So I am going to open up Bronze Age just because I want to show uh, that guilds unlock right here. But then if you look into Iron Age, you can see that Guild Expedition unlocks once you've researched one rung on the Iron Age. So I highly suggest when you do unlocking this architecture because not only do you get an expansion but you also unlock great building contribution and being within a guild you really want to be able to contribute to others great buildings but also to guild expedition so let's go in depth a little bit more into where you find guild expedition so guild expedition on the computer is right here but on mobile, you're going to see it as a pop-out window at the bottom of your right-hand screen. You're going to see a little arrow, and when you pop it out, um, you're going to see your message center, and then right, to your, right next to your message center, you'll see an icon that does look pretty similar to this that says Expedition at the bottom of it. So let's talk a little bit about what Guild Expedition looks like. So there are four levels within Guild Expedition. Within your first level, you're going to mostly be using previous era goods along with coins and supplies if you're negotiating. Now, if you're using military, it's mostly going to be previous era military that you're fighting. Within 2, 3, and 4, you're going to see a mix of previous era goods but also current era goods for negotiations. However, as you go up each level for those, the cost of those goods is going to be more expensive. Um, so within this first level, you're really only using one of each good, whereas when you get to two, you get to two or three, and then three is either two, three, or four, and then at that level four, it's even more. I think some of them are like six or seven, if I'm thinking at the top of my head. Um, but then military wise, once you get to two and three, you're going to see kind of a mixture of previous era and current era military. You're going to see more military as you go in and they're also going to be stronger. But then once you get to level four, it's primarily all current era military that you're fighting. And some of them also have extra military boosts as well. Um, along with that, uh, in order to actually unlock each of these levels, your guild leaders each week will need to unlock using the guild treasury. I can show where that is in a second. Um, but you, it does cost, um, each level does cost different guild uh, goods. So be mindful of having observatories in your city and also arcs in order to help with that building of your guild treasury or have your members donate to the guild treasury to help you unlock these levels. Um, each week guild expedition does unlock on Tuesday mornings at 8 a.m. game time but then it also closes each week uh, after six days on that Monday um, at 8 a.m. game time. So you have one day of kind of like recoup period before it starts up again. Um, along with that uh, kind of game clock, be mindful that if you leave your current guild in the middle of a guild expedition season, your totals still impact your guild. So if you've left, you cannot contribute any more to guild expedition and your set amounts are set there. Now if you enter a guild in the middle of a guild expedition season it will not auto generate you into it so you have to wait that entire week in order to do guild expedition. So the best time to kind of jump guilds is on that Monday that off day um, between seasons of GE. Um, now I'm also going to say um, this kind of has changed with the introduction of Guild Battlegrounds, but if you're thinking about leveling up to another era, 
I highly suggest, A, if you have to do it right away, that you do it right after Guild Expedition unlocks in a season. But even better is if you wait to season the halfway through the season of Guild Expedition or girl, oh my god, okay, rewind. The best idea to level up to the next era, if you're looking at your season of guild battlegrounds, it lasts two weeks. The best time to do it is actually in that second half of the season, right after this guild expedition unlocks. Why? Because then you have the rest of that season of GBG with your previous era, goods and military, but also this GE is also previous era. That gives you about a week to then generate enough goods and military of your current era for those next seasons to start. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> Very important. Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit more about some of the features in here. If you tap on this trophy, this does look the same on mobile. You're able to see how your guild is stacking up against um, guilds in other worlds. So unlike guild battlegrounds, which is you're fighting guilds within your, you know, I'm in B, your B world, this is actually against other guilds of other worlds. So this is kind of a fun feature. But it does show you this. Um, if you ever see guilds that have this awesome fire going on, it's because they have had a lot of members go beyond 48 out of 48 encounters. So let me show you what that means. So if you tap your bar, you can actually see um, what your different players are doing within guild. So you can actually see 48 out of 48 encounters is, oh, here's a good one. Quick completed three levels of Guild Expedition. He has not entered level four. Level four is beyond that 48, and that's where you see the 64 out of 48. Think of it as extra credit. So if you have members that are all going above that 48 out of 48, there's a chance that your guild, oops, your guild could go on fire and be above 100%. The highest you can go is 133.3%. And that would mean basically that almost everyone in your guild is going above level 3 and going and completing all 64 out of 48 encounters um, as much as they can anyway. Um, but... I hope that kind of explains that. Um, this fire that you see just means that they're in level four and it kind of coincides because level four, and unfortunately I'm not there yet um, this week, level four has lots of volcanoes and fire all around. Otherwise, levels one through three all look exactly like this one. Okay, let's see. Looking at my notes. Do, 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 do. Um, so what you're gaining and what your guild is gaining um, through Guild Expedition. If we kind of look at how this zigzags, like I said, all of the guild levels within Guild Expedition look like this, but level 4 looks different. There are 16 encounters per level. There is also 16 rewards per level. Um, but if we peek... Up here, for each um, encounter that you do, you are gaining your guild crowns or prestige is what I like to say. So these, oh, can I show? Oh no, I can. It's on overview. Here we go. Pop here. So, or guild power or prestige. So I've contributed this many crowns per this season and um, right now, this is our how many crowns we're getting in total. Now, if we go and we actually look at our guild. Oh, girl, you are going around this all roundabout way. Yes, you are. <laughs> if we go in and look at your level, you can see that these crowns contribute to you're leveling as a guild and with each level that you do as a guild you earn more prestige you earn more um, defense for gvg in general your recruitment boost means that any military that you get in your that you're producing in your city or your traz 
this they quicken their pace um, and production quickens you get more forge points also you get extra kind of boost in supplies and coins so be mindful of that crowns are very good for your guild okay I said I was going to show you treasury too. So um, guild treasury, you're going to need, you don't need any bronze era. It's all iron up. And this is also for guild, um, guild battlegrounds, but you do need, you do need goods in order to unlock. And it does depend on how many, uh, how many players you have per era. Um, that affects how many goods it's going to pull out of your good, Guild treasury. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> okay, back in. Um, or maybe not back in. I want to show you guys the TOR and then I'm going to pop over to my other city to actually so show you it in action. Um, so a great building that goes along with Guild Expedition is your Temple of Relics. Um, I call it the Relic Hunt. Happy hunting, happy happy hunting for relics. <laughs> but with each encounter that you do in Guild Expedition, if you do have a TOR working in your city, there's a chance that you can either get silver, gold, or jade um, little relic statues. And these provide extra rewards, extra little goodies. Um, so the more encounters you do, the more chances you have at yummy little goodies. So these are things like you could get, and let's go in here and I'll show them to you. You could get, oh, oh, no, girl. No, 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 no. What am I even doing? Ritual. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thinking relics. So there's a chance that you could get ritual fl flames. These help with the defense of your defending army. You have a chance of getting fountains of youth. Mm -hmm. right here so these are essentially the same as a wishing well but you cannot make them smaller so I don't use these in my city I actually have some in the antique dealer going right now to get me some little packs there's also up up kits reno kits do, 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 if we can find it um, you're going to get one up kits potentially from your relics. There's also reno kits that you could get right here. Um, you're going to get storage kits from relics. And you're also going to get these. Oh, store. There we go. Um, store building kits. You also do get some of these as well. Um, when you complete each level or those kind of big statue ones every four. Oh, let's show you what that is. So like these big ones, right after you hit those, you have a chance of getting um, like diamonds or, oh, hey, I could have just showed it on here. Haha, <laughs> silly girl. <laughs> but <laughs> there's chances of those. Along with that, there's also chances of getting five of a certain kind of a military unit, um, lots of goods, forge points. You get 20 forge points, 50 forge points, I think. No, no, that's that's my HC. You get 20 forge point potentially. Your favorite one, though, is 100 forge point. That is a gold relic. So if you ever see a gold relic, you kind of get, like, super excited. And you're like, oh, my God. Um, you get potentially up to 200 goods if you hit a gold relic. Um, you get sky watches potentially. Most of the time I get those for finishing a level. Those give you forge points. Or you have a chance of getting a lot of victory towers, too. Um, so when you do have a relic available, and I actually have one, I think, available right now. Yeah, I do have one hiding in the fog somewhere. Oh, I do have a gold one. Look at that. Eee! This turns blue, and on your mobile, it'll actually do like a little shimmy. <laughs> and it dances for you. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, jeepers, girl. All right. Let's pop into my other city. I'm going to show you this in action. And hopefully I haven't missed anything. Let me check the back of my notes here really quick, guys. Do you do, do, do Oh my god, I did. Oh, I'll talk about it in the other one. I'll talk about it in my other city. <laughs> um, I did specifically leave my H world undone so I could show you guys it a little bit in action. I've also had a lot of people asking me about this awesome little calculator down here. And this is called the FOE Helper. I've only just discovered it about a month ago. Um, I don't think it's been out for very long, but it is like the coolest thing in the entire world. I'm just not, I won't delve into it. That's like its own whole own little thing, but whew. Okay, so we're going to talk about Tavern Boost here really quick. 
you're going to go into your tavern shop. There are several different booths that are extremely helpful for guild expedition. First one is attacker boost. So if you are going to go after mostly um, just military if within your guild expedition, then you're going to want to unlock or you're going to want to activate one of these attacker boosts. Normally I go after just this 30 minute one because I don't want to be hindered in my city for four hours with not being able to use another boost. Once you do activate one boost, you can activate another, but it does cost diamonds. So I hi highly suggest go for the lower one. So this one is good for if you're going to fight. I'm not going to fight. I'm actually going to show you the most essential one, and this is this extra turn feature right here. So extra turn gives you extra negotiating terms, and I wish they had this for guild battlegrounds, but they don't, <sighs> but they do have it here. So this only works for guild expedition, um, but we're going to unlock it here, and let's go in to GE, and I wanted to show you this because I am a lower era, and I, I am able to get pretty far with negotiating, um, but I forgot to tell you about your attempts up here. So you get eight attempts, and then once you use an attempt, it starts auto-generating, and you do get one attempt every hour. Um, now, if I can't actually buy one right now until I go in. Okay, well, let's show you guys what this awesome FOE helper does with negotiating. It is awesome. <laughs> okay, so it kind of, it helps you um, if you follow the specifications. It actually makes it, um, like normally you sit here and you do it in your head and you have to be all logical and things. But this, I don't know, it has some sort of little thinker in it that just, I don't know, it's, it, it negotiates better than I. <laughs> but it gives you what you should be doing. And I have found that this, I mean, for GE, it's not really as big of a deal. But for GBG, this has been a game changer. I mean, I would go through hundreds and hundreds of goods just to get past that. Because you can only use three and it's just infuriating. And so here I was like, oh my God, but yeah, and you sit there and look for patterns and yeah, patterns still work, but this thing, oh my gosh, for GBG, game changer. I can't even play on my phone now. Now I'm like, the minute I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, guildies, you need to go and hit the sector. I'm like, go, I'm going to use this. So then I come on the computer. <gasps> oh, darn. I'm so chatty. And so once you screw it up, then you have to go on your own, which is fine. But now I have to be all thinky. <laughs> oh, so yeah, if you do do on your own, you still can. So that was a great, great show and tell when I do have a relic available. Oh, so there's some forge points. That's nice. Um, oh, I almost forgot to mention, um, I will show you this too before I go on, but if you have a TOR or Temple of Relics within your city and you do have relics within, um, you do see relics or you've earned relics within Guild Expedition, you have to pick them up before you go on to the next level. You cannot go back. Once you go on to the next level, you're done. So if you haven't picked up your relics with within here, then you are you're just your SOL. It's really it's really sad. Don't do it. Don't be like that. Go check. Go check your little area. Do, 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 do. I hope I didn't miss anything. This is kind of fun though. You guys can see this in action. Maybe on the next one I'll try to fight without a boost. I can show you guys fighting. Yeah, I can try. This, I would easily, in my other, in uh, B, I can fight. Well, right now I can't. I've actually wiped my army out in GBG, so I'm using all negotiating. <laughs> I'm pathetic. Oh, so let's go and find where that relic is. Okay, so here's a little silver. Oh, that is like bomb. When you are a low level and you get something like that, oh, yes, so good. Okay. Oh, okay, see? Mm, yes, that's that's yummy too. Play now. So now I can't go back. 
I've, I've entered here. There's no going back. Okay, let's see. Let's try to attack. So there's also the option of attacking. When you're doing this, you're going to want to pair against them. So these are all ranged. And like you can see, um, this is a previous era and this is all current eras. So we're going to do ones that are good on fighting those. And we're going to do a mix of some others too. Uh, what do we want to do? Oof. Oh man, I know I don't want to do these ones. Sorry guys, I'm thinking in my head. You get pure thinking right now. Let's go for this. I can put one of these in. Now you can auto battle. Auto battle. Um, I tend to lose quite a bit of my army though when we do that. So let's actually go in and fight. Then you can see that in action too. Um, now this kind of grounds looks a little bit different um, than your other cities, I guess. Or maybe it's just because I'm in this era and <laughs> I don't even really fight anymore. In <laughs> In my other world, I just auto battle. I don't have, I'm too lazy. I know there are other awesome players that actually will fight, but I'm just, I'm a lazy person now. Once GBG has entered into play, man, guys, I love this feature. It is like my favorite thing in the entire world. Oh, I love GBG. I'm having so much fun in it. Yeah, normally you guys don't get to see this, so hopefully this is all right with you. Because <laughs> you're stuck with me now. Oh, see, there's one. Goodbye, you. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is so rough. Being a small little player is rough business, guys. Let's try to get rid of some of these so that we don't die. Oh, they're going to kill my archer. Yep, there he goes. terrible. Oh no, let's see how we do. Oh yes, woohoo, okay we got it. But yeah, so yeah, I still lost three. This is why I just negotiate being low. Oh, jeepers. Okay, let's finish before I lose out on this tavern boost and then I'll be crying because my tavern boost isn't as good in this city. And then I think I have covered everything, but we'll see. Now, um, along with those Temple of Relics relics that you can find within Guild Expedition, if they are out in the fog and you haven't unlocked um, the, the big kind of temple of each four, you can't go and collect those relics. So be really mindful of that um, as you're nearing the end of Guild Expedition because if you see like a jade relic out in the distance or a gold relic out in that fog... Like, oh, you're gonna, you'll lose out on it if you don't go and unlock that era, area of Guild Expedition. So be mindful of that too, but absolutely, TOR is a must for Guild Expedition. You just get so many goodies, so many relics. It's so good. So helpful. All right, we're almost there, you guys. You're trucking along with me. Awesome. So like you can see, this is kind of a mix. Um, this is just previous era right now and also coins but see now this is the big one they've entered in one of my current era those two are still from previous so yeah just be kind of mindful make sure you're always generating those goods so that you can you can get as far as you can with guild expedition I think this is pretty much common across many, many players. Unless you have very high military great buildings, you really do, um, you can easily finish level four. It's just that you need the goods to do it. So, yeah. All right, let's see. I don't have any other, I don't have any other relic shimmy in for me. So that's everything with that. Okay, let me peek at my notes really quick, you guys. And I think I've gotten everything. Um, crowns, lower area, negotiate. Oh, yes, if you're a lower area, just in general, negotiating is easier. I think I mentioned that. You can see it, too. I've already wiped out that guy. <laughs> Sad little military people. 
on this time let's see I think that's everything oh my gosh it is okay you guys I hope that that was helpful um I tried to really share as much as I could if I've missed something share it down in the comments you guys are fantastic um thanks for everything that you guys do share it is so so helpful all right bye guys